guys so today we're gonna do a full day of eating y'all have been asking me to do videos like this for the longest where I'm just cooking and showing you guys my meals and things like that so I said why not let's try something new so welcome to what I eat in a day <laughs> for those of y'all that are new to my channel um, I am trying to start a weight loss journey. So this is just me showing you guys what I'm cooking and what I eat in a day. Right now, I really just wanna focus on cooking and making my meals at home and not eating out. And so that's where my focus is right now. I am tracking my calories. So at the end of the day, I'll let y'all know what my total was for the day and all of the recipes and anything that I use for meal prep and all that kind of stuff will be linked in the description box. But y'all, it is early. So I'm gonna make me a little small smoothie before I take Charlie on his walk. These days, I try to go for an extended walk with him and that's like my first workout of the day. So I just go for longer walks and I count that as a workout because we do that twice a day. So that's what we're gonna do. So let me go ahead and make my smoothie. It doesn't look good, but it's good. <laughs> Lord, that was a walk, honey. That was a walk. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Okay, let me start acting stupid. <laughs> Y'all, I'm about to do my Bible study before I um, get started with the rest of my day and fix breakfast. I'm really trying to get myself on a routine and I'm really trying to be intentional about making time to spend with God. So when I sat down to make my schedule for this month, this is something that I wrote down to do before I made breakfast and got started with the rest of my day because it'll kind of force me to do it. So that's what we're doing. Reading out of Proverbs 16 today. So...
get on with the rest of my day i do want to fix breakfast i'm making a omelet i'm gonna try to make it southwest style with a little bit of jalapeno red onion green onion salsa so that's what i'm gonna make i already cooked up my breakfast sausage so i'm gonna cut up my vegetables and put everything together doing some work got myself together for the day i'm a little hungry so i'm gonna make me a little snacky snack i'm not hungry enough to eat lunch just yet but i do want something to eat on i've really been trying to listen to my body and what my body is telling me instead of oh it's 12 o'clock so i have to eat lunch right now if i feel like eating lunch at two o'clock i'll eat lunch at two instead of like forcing myself to sit down and eat meals at certain times when i'm not really that hungry so like right now I am feeling a hungry, but not hungry enough to eat like a full-blown lunch. So I'm going to fix me a little snack plate. I'm going to make some tuna salad and cut up some vegetables, probably make me a couple boiled eggs and put that together for lunch. to finish cooking so I'm gonna start assembling everything so I have four cans of tuna celery onion green onion dill for my seasonings I'm gonna do celery salt black pepper and smoked paprika Dijon mustard mayo and relish eggs are ready so I'm just gonna Smash the egg in my hand. Paprika. 
about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Some relish. I'm gonna add two, about what? Three tablespoons of mayonnaise to start out with. Cause I don't want, I don't want the mayonnaise to overtake the salad in help. Hellman's all day, every day. Don't play. <laughs> so I'm going to build up the mayonnaise if needed. So I'm just going to stir this together. Because sometimes when you add too much mayonnaise initially, it can get really creamy. And I like mine's. I like my tuna salad to still have some texture. I don't want the mayonnaise to overtake the salad. So. cup more mayonnaise so I would say in total I used about mm, half a cup to maybe three-fourths cup of mayonnaise in total so instead of instead of tuna on crackers I'm doing tuna on cucumber and y'all, this plate right here is gonna fill me up for the next few hours. So this is this is more than enough food for lunch. I forgot to take my vitamins this morning. <laughs> Let me take my vitamins. I got this case off of Amazon. I'll link it if you guys are interested. Y'all, I just gotta pop them back because if I start thinking about it too much, I start panicking when I'm trying to take my vitamins. <laughs> Gonna, I'm almost done with my Stanley cup, so I'm gonna refill it, and that'll be it for today because this is 40 ounces. So, two of these or one and a half of these is good for me. It's sometime later, I am out with family, We're about to go in here to Bar Taco and get something to eat. So, I will show y'all what I get. Yeah, that would definitely be the designated call for the uh. some beverage spoons and I love these because they match the silverware that I already have and I picked up y'all this was so cute I picked up this nightmare before Christmas cup stand so for the month of October 
I'm going to switch this one out for these white ones right here. y'all i'm gonna end the vlog here thank y'all so much for watching let me know down in the comments if you guys like these what i eat in the days i'm gonna end the night by eating the rest of the plantains that i didn't eat at the restaurant and that's it for today so i had a full day of eating y'all um so let me know if this is something that y'all want to keep seeing um and if so i will do them more often and i will see you guys in the next video